Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and yes, we're in another theory about what if Fred Caton shows up in Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Because this was meant to happen la those years ago in my original idea before changing it from 9 to 5 to be something else. Now, here we are with my original idea. It's still the same way from the story I had before. I'd rather use it here to show you all what it means. So, here we go. After four nights with Brandon Smith, the night guard, who's been almost attacked by the animatronics who were possessed by the angry souls of the children, now in his fifth night, he's been seeing these visions of a golden bear suit that himself is walking towards it and pull the mask and look inside. It shows his corpse inside, then a purple hand reaches out of his shoulder and he turns around and saw a purple figure with a crazed smile. Then he backs into reality. He remember he shut two doors in the office while Bonnie and Chica were trying to get in. That happened one hour ago, but now they weren't there. He's been resting for two hours after that. When looks at the monitor, he realized that the animatronics are not around the rooms. They could have been around the diner or the hallways. If they weren't, they would have been in his office already. But then he heard a noise coming from the long hallway. A door opened and closed. But then, footsteps. Footsteps heading to the office and the left door. A knock. Brandon thought into his mind that it could be at the animatronics because who knows if that door would have came from the restrooms or the kitchen or even but then a voice came it said hey night guard boy open the door Brandon begins to calm that it was a person from the other side of the door he walked towards the door and pushed the button to open it and it shows a man with a security outfit but it was purple. This random man said things that is everything alright or other things about his night shift. Brandon was still confused on who is this man. Is he a new night guard to replace him? Or is something else that he couldn't think in his mind? Then this man introduced himself as Fred Caton. Brandon was shocked on recognizing that name. He'd been hearing rumors about Fred Caton been missing and so many disappearings on children around the pizza route been closing. Fred then backs away and Fred Caton was not happy on seeing this night guard refuses to talk to him. Then Fred pulls a knife out of his pocket and walks towards him. Brandon freaks out and runs out of the right hole and Fred chases him. It's been 11 minutes later of the chase. Brandon runs to a back room that leads to parts and services, but soon, Fred was behind him and knocks him out. Then, darkness. Brandon wakes up and gasps. He looks around. He was in another room. It was filled with old papers, wires, and free arcade machines. He was tied in a chair. Then Fred Caton appears behind him. He was just smiling at him. Fred began to say things about how he became this way as a killer, and how it's good for him to be this way, and a way of horrors. And then he said to Brandon that he'll end him with something special. He walked towards a strange prop that was covered of a cloth. He pulls it and it shows a old golden springlock suit, but a version of a bonnie. He smiles widely into a crazy person. He walks towards to Brandon and pulls him to the suit. Brandon squirms to find a way to escape, but Fred ignores his cries, but then he heard something behind him. Fred turns around and went shocked and drops Brandon. Brandon was confused on why Fred is backing away. Then he looked behind as well and saw four kids, but they were just ghosts. But then a strange puppet appeared. Brandon noted the puppet used its matches to untie the rope. Brandon gets up and punches Fred, but Fred blocks it and kicks him. Fred just walks towards the suit and puts it on. He begins to laugh, but until the spring lock fails and it crushes his body, he begins to scream agony 
and he fell to the ground while twitching and the spray long suit blocked his voice and then silence. The kids were looking at Brandon while he gets up and then they disappear but the puppet it falls to the ground and it shows a child as well and disappears. Brandon looks back to the suit that Fred just died in. He said, I'm glad you're dead, you freak. He begins to walk away to the hallway that leads back to the exit room and leaves while the clock reaches to 6 a.m. There you go folks, hope you all like it, there will be more theories to go. If you all want your theories to add up, please comment down below and we'll soon have those be up for the next video. This is Lord of Flames here, I will see you guys next time, bye folks, have a wonderful day.